Hello, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft. I'm just collecting some uh, some nettle leaves just to make some nettle tea. Just to show you how you can uh, use some of the plants that we've learnt about in previous videos and how you can use them for cooking and making drinks. So we're just going to collect some of these now and then we'll take them back to the uh, take them back to the camp. I'm just using my cup here to collect the leaves in. I'm going for the young the young leaves. Most of the bigger, tougher ones. Again, nettles are full of nutrients, full of goodness. Many uses. It's a great bushcrafting plant. Like I say, you can use it for food, drinks. You can also use. The, um, the actual stalks and the stems for cordage. Never tried that, but uh, I hope to try that in the future. Okay, we'll get a few more of these and then we'll see you back at the uh, camp. Right, we've got ourselves a Nice selection there of leaves. Just add a bit of water. Just put a bit more mess in there. Should really give them a good rinse. I'm sure there's loads of bugs on there. It all adds to the taste. Right, we'll get that on there. Tin foil's great for lids. Well, for a multitude of things really, but you can just mould the tin foil to whatever shape you want, and it works really well. Okay, we'll let that boil and we'll get back to you. Now we're boiling away nicely there now. And you can really smell a really strong smell coming off that. Lovely. See, they've gone a more sort of limey green colour, not as dark now. A really nice smell to it. Right, I'll just let that boil for a little bit longer and then we'll come back. Okay, I think we're done there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can see the different the colour of the 
tea now, it's sort of a yellowy green colour. Right, just let that cool down and we'll give that a try. Right, what I'm going to try first is the actual uh, leaves themselves. This is no bugs on them. It's alright. I haven't stung my tongue. They're not, they're not tough. Taste-wise, maybe I've overcooked them. But as a as a green, as a vegetable, well, not really a vegetable, but. There's a bit of flavour there, but I think that might be just me overcooking it. Cooked all the flavour out. It's quite a nice consistency. Oh yeah, I could definitely eat that. I don't think I can compare it to. I can't really. It's not like cabbage, it's a lot softer. Mm. That's alright. Very good for you. So that's the, uh, the nettle itself. This is the tea. Make sure there's no. debris or flies. Mm, that's got a nice taste to it as well. Yeah, very good. So there you go. That's uh, the common stinging nettle. Used for many things. To eat, to drink, and uh, also for making cordage, which I'm showing you today because I've never tried that. But uh, yeah, that's okay. That give it a try. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.